How you doing this morning? This is Pastor Ken with you, and this is uh, Heaven's Elohim Temple. And we're going to be starting a Bible devotion series. And we're going to be starting in um, Genesis. So you start at the first of the Bible, and then go through it. And we're looking at uh, Genesis 1 today. Abba, may I say and do what you want me to do? And go where you want me to go. And say these things in Yeshua's name. Amen. So, chapter 1. The foundation of all religion being laid on the realization of God our Creator. Um, it is fit that the first book of divine revelations, which was intended to be a guide, sport, and rule, of region in the world should begin and it does with the plan of the full account of the creation of the world in answer to the first acquired of God's conscience where is God my maker Job 35 verse 10 containing the pagan philosophers watchable blurred and became vain in their images some assigned to the world entirely of sex or so sorry self existence others ascribe to a foundacious course consource of atoms thus the world by wisdom no one to God no one not to God but took a great deal of plans to lose him the Holy Spirit the Holy Scripture therefore designed by revelation revealed region and maintain the important of natural religion to repair the decades and the supply of defects of it since the fall of the riving and the prospects of the law of nature lays down at first the principle unconcluded light of nature what is this world was the beginning of time created by the beginning beginning of an infinity wisdom and power and himself before all time and all worlds the entrance into God's world gives the light Psalms 119 verse 30 the first verse of the Bible gives us a sugar se secure and better a more satisfying and useful knowledge of the origin of the universe than all the volumes of the philosophers the living and loving faith of the humble Christians understands this matter better than the evaluated fancy and greatest wits Hebrew 11 verse 3 for we have three things in this character a general idea given to the work of creation verses 1 and 2 
a particular account of the seven days work resigned as a journal directly in order the creation of the light of the first day verses three to five the firmination of the second day verses six to eight of the sea the earth and the fruits the third day verses nine to thirteen the lights of the heaven the fourth day verses 14 to 19 the fish and fowl of the fifth day 20 to 23 the beasts 24 and 25 of men 26 to 28 and the food for both the sixth day review the aberration of the whole work in verse 31. So, this is a long um, message, so uh, bear with me. So, Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was unformed and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit hovered over the surface of the water. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the eve and the morning was the morning of day one. So, in these verses, verses one and two, we have the creation of the empathy of the emporial and the empathy where we find our comfort of the first article of our creed, God the Father Almighty and his maker, of heaven and earth and such we believe in him the effort produced the heaven and the earth and it is the world including the whole frame and furniture of the universe the whole and all things therein the whole world is great house consisting of upper and lower stories the structure stately and manifested uniform and comfort and every room well and wise and finished it is visible part of the creation that Moses here designs the account there he mentions the creation of the angels but the earth was not only its surface. Abandon this grass and flowers, but also its boils enriched with metals and precious stones. Thought I went too far. So the heavens are not only beautified and more vulnerable, variable through the creation of them is not so that the heavens are not only so that the heavens of those creations we hear read. They are within the repeside and glorious beginnings out of our sight more celestial and more surpassing them worth the excellence and the gold and sapphire and surfaces of the lies of the nature of the construction for each other Lord how mag magnified 
and thy works are good. The great beauty, the usher sky, and the vendor earth, charming the eye of the curious spectator, much more of the ornaments of both the translucent and most of the beautiful creator the being. Great expectantness in accordance to those that with help of microphones microscopes narrowly look into the works of nature they appear far more than any of the works of the creation of itself in the magnetic power get ordered a manual dependence of beings an exact humor of mentions and a bomb abominable chain of creation the causes a great mystery there is and are phenomenons in nature which cannot be solved secrets which cannot formeth nor accounted for both from what we see of finished ourselves and abandoned matter of its phrases and let us let our make and place as men remind us of the duty as Christians which is always kept in heaven and I on earth under our feet the author and case of this great work is God the Hebrew word is Elohim which berserks the power of God the Creator Elo signifies the strong God and what less than the almighty strength could bring all things out of nothing the polarity of persons in the Godhead Father Son and Holy Ghost the parable name of God in Hebrew which speaks of him as many though he is one was the Gentiles appear as sovereign of death unto death hettering them in their idolatry but it is to us sovereign of life unto life conforming our faith to the doctrine of the Trinity which through the darkened untamed of the New Testament is clearly revealed in the new the Son of God the eternal the word was made by him and nothing made was not made without him What height thoughts should this form in our minds? The great God whom we draw nigh into religious worship and that greater Menator, Mediator and those name that draw nigh. The matter in which this work was effected, God created it, that is, made it out of nothing there was nothing any pre-existing matter out of which the world was produced the first the fish and the fowl were indeed produced of the waters and the beast and the man of the earth and the earth and those waters were made out of nothing by the ordinary power of nature it is impossible 
that anything should be made out of nothing. No, our for sure can work unless he has something to work on. But the almighty power of God is not the impossible that something should be made of nothing. The God of nature is not subject to the laws of nature, but the creation to the impossible it should be otherwise, for nothing is more ejormous to the honor of the eternal mind than the suspicion of eternal matter. This excellency of the power of God and all the glory is to him. When the work was preceded in the beginning, it is in the beginning of time when the clock was fast first set at going time began and production those begins that are measured by time before the beginning of time there was none but the infinite being that habits eternal should we ask God to make the world sooner? We should. But drunken, casual, by words without knowledge of how could there be sooner or later in eternal. And he did make it the beginning of time according to his eternal counsel before all time. The Jewish rabbis have a saying that there were seven things which God created before the world by which only mean the express of the excellence of those things, the law, repentance, paradise, hell, the throne of glory, the house of the sanctuary, and the name of the Messiah. But to us, it is enough to say, in the beginning, was the word. Let us learn hence that atheism is foul. And atheists are the greatest fools in nature. For they see there is a world that could not make itself, yet they will the minds. The God is sovereign, Lord of all, insurmountable, right. It is he is the creator, no doubt. He is the people that have him for their God. And those help and hope stand in his name that the God we serve is worthy and yet excellent, far above the beginnings and praise. If he made the world, he needs not our services, nor can he benefit by them. And yet he justifies, requires them, and deserves our praise. If all is of him, all must be to him. Here is the work of the creation embryo, where we have an account of the first matter and the first moving. A chaos was the first matter. Here, it is here called the earth, through the earth priority took, was not made till the third day, because it did almost resemble that which forwards was earth, mere earth, despite its ordinance, which afterwards separate from
from the earth we now mix with. The immersion mass of matter was out of which all the bodies of even the firmament and visible heavens themselves and afterwards produced the power of the eternal world the creator could have made this work perfect at first but by this gradual procedure he would so what is ordinary the method in his providence and grace observe the destruction of this chaos there so these words are rendified in the shapeless it was useless it was without inhabitants without ornaments and shadow or rough draft of things to come and not the image of things the earth is almost reduced to the same condition again by the sin of man under which the creation groans I beheld the earth and though it was without form and void to those who have their hearts in heaven this lower world in comparison to the upper still appears to be nothing but confusion and emptiness there is no true beauty to be seen no satisfying fullness and to enjoy in the earth by in God only if there be anything deep God did not create the darkness it was only the want of light which yet could be to be said of the wanting of something was made that might be seen by it nor needs the want of most complained my place sorry the earth is almost reduced to the same condition again in the sin of man under which the condition grinds groans is almost is I beheld the earth to lo, it was without form and void. To those who have hearts of heaven, this lower world, in comparison with the upper, still appears to be nothing but confusion and emptiness. There is no true beauty to be seen, no satisfying fulfillment to be enjoyed in the earth but in God only. If there had been anything deeper, God did not create this darkness, for it was only needs to want to be much complained of 
then there was nothing to be seen but confusion and emptiness. If there is a disorder, confusion, and everything evil work, it is empty and of all good, for it is without God, it is dark. And so was the first mover. He moved upon the face of the waters. When he considered the earth without form and void, methinks it is like the valley full of dead and dry bones. Can those live? Can this confuse the mass of matter be formed into a beautiful world? Yes, if the spirit of life for God entered onto it. Now there is hope concerning this thing. For the spirit of God begins to work. And if he worked, who or what shall hinder? God is said to eject. He moved upon the face of the deep. Elijah stretched forth himself upon the dead child, and the hen gathers her eggs under her wings and hovers over them to warm and cherish them. As the eagle stares up her nest and flutters off her young, learn hence that God is not only the author of the beginning and the foundation of life and spring of motive, dread matter, that powerful which brought such a world as this out of confusion, emptiness, and darkness at the beginning time can at the end of time bring our veal bodies out of the grave. Though it is the land of darkness and darkness itself and without an order and can be made the glorious bodies. Tomorrow, we will look at verses 3 to 5. May God bless the reading of his word. Our God gives us hope when there's none, and takes something and makes a diamond out of it. May God bless and keep you. Abba, thank you for being here with us, blessing and guiding and strengthening and keeping us. We say these things in Yeshua's name. Amen. <coughs>